as people, I think we connect in a lot more ways than we think, one of which being musically. You learn the ABCs by singing them, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know what I mean? And so like, even as like youth, we're brought up with this connection to music and melody without even realizing it, you know what I mean? It's just embedded in us. I was geeking out earlier, did not have no composure, I didn't kind of mellow down, you know. Got the boy Neil, he let us bless the studio. Got Corey, he on the ones and twos, my boy Juwan. We got Jared behind the camera, it's the best place to record in Northwest Arkansas, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, best place to record in the world. In the world, not just Northwest Arkansas. Watch out for your homies, from the bottom but it showed me. That the struggle made me just who I am, but I ain't never going back. If you go to some the average person and say there's a rap scene in Fayetteville or there's a hip hop scene, they're gonna look at you like, bro, what? Yeah, no, so it's yeah, folk, country, that. and alternative. It was difficult for me to find places to perform here in Fayetteville. A, not only because like, I'm not even saying on, on no race stuff, not necessarily because I'm black probably, but because people ain't listening to rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I that, yeah. or, or they're not putting on the local artists like they should, because I, I take that back. They listening to rap, yeah. you know what I mean? But they, they don't know how to, Support someone support, that's not already known. Exactly. Yeah, I get, I get it. Exactly. They don't know how to support people that's known. And so for us, it's important that we do like stand up and say like, nah, we here and we gonna do something dope. And Absolutely, if you if you're yeah. not gonna like put me on your show, okay, bet then we gonna go to this backyard and turn yeah, up. You know what I mean? Do yeah. it. Projects like this, folks like Bike Rack, give me hope because I never thought that in 2019 I would live a life as a performer, as a musician, that would involve any kind of patronage. You're not going to hear of an artist from Motown in the days when the industry used to invest in people that didn't have a team behind them. People who believed in what they were doing, who loved the sound, who thought that it could be a thing. Ooh. And the way he moving got me feeling like I'm supposed to give him some of that. <laughs> I mean. What Bike Rack is doing is really cool and kind of unheard of, just being that it takes a lot to be the first mover. Um, they, they had the idea to support local artists and come alongside them and do this co-branded album, EP. I mean, it's a huge risk, but it's great for them and we're very grateful and all the artists are too. So I've worked with Bang for a couple years already, so I knew coming into his session that that would be a knockout and, and pretty fun to do. And then got to meet Lawrence and Sean and just working with them, we came up with a beat and a song in a few hours and got it tracked, which is pretty, pretty rare, honestly, like I, you, you come into these sessions and you don't really know how it's gonna play out. And so luckily so far, they've been vibing with what I was working with and then we can kind of feed on one another with uh, what they're doing with the vocals and come in after and mess with the beat and kind of blend it together to where it, it really is like a co-produced, co-written uh, song at that point between me and the artist, which is really fun. It's a lot different than what I normally do. It feels like hard hitting rap music, bro. It feels like, you know, West Coast music. It feels like um, a bridge that connects, um, I should say, like, what I'm aiming for as a Christian to, to, to deliver as a message, you know, and it feels like this a bridge that connects to the society that we live in that uh, has nothing to do with religion, you know? you know? A lot of people wonder why I can walk into a studio and give one or two good takes like off the domes because I've already been in my car, I've been in my room, I've been in my head, you know what I mean? Just like 
rehearsing it. So it takes a lot of uh, dedication, just like with anything else, man. It is an art, it is a craft, it's a skill, it's a talent, it's a gift, it's a blessing, you know? Just, I just let my heart flow, man. Um, it's like one of those like one take experiences, like when you're recording or whether you're speaking to someone being motivational, like it just happens and people's lives are affected by it, bro. Music moves me. Like music is me, the, the, the way the air flows, the way the ideas move. I can sit here and tell you something verbatim from my mouth right. and then I resonate to you until I pull a beat over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or until I put it in a, in a rhythm. And so like, for me, realizing that and understanding that was, was cool because it held me accountable almost and was like, okay, like if you have something, a positive message to put out there, then you have to find the avenue that's gonna connect with people. Everyone is an artist in their own sense. So I'm just creating what I want my life to be known for in the end, you know? I feel like me being an artist allows me to be at the steering wheel of what, of what I live for. The goal is to, in, in some form or fashion, for music to be our main source of income, whether it is traveling to do shows, being on tour. I mean, going into schools and doing mentorships, like, that's the goal, is for music to be it for us. But what if I never make it, but I, you know, my message helps some little, uh, you know, musty kid in the hood decide to continue to go on. So this isn't just about music. Um, it's just about never giving up. In a progressively complicated world. You're more exposed to brokenness and the hurts and the pains and fairness and unfairness and justice and injustice and all of that. And sometimes you don't know how to answer those questions. Like there is not a black and white to those questions, but art gives you a different perspective. Like art brings in something that can explain the unexplainable. And I just, I, I cringe at the idea of people who have a passion and a gift to do something and they don't have the ability to do it because of financial uh, uh, resources or because there's a community that doesn't understand it, you know? I'm a painter and this is what I do. Oh cool, I need something to match my couch. No, you don't understand the concept of like what I do. I'm not just gonna go to some place and hopefully someone's playing guitar in the corner and it's just good background music. Uh, or I, I wanna buy this guy's painting because it matches my couch. I wanna see someone say, this painting is amazing. I will rearrange my furniture around it. Or this artist has, has something incredible to say. Uh, I will go pay money and not just expect to show up for free and have an investment in that.